there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, you night owls, we are going to be talking about Tamar Braxton, you guys, is on again, off again, fiance, Jeremy, Allen, Robinson Sr., I, uh, you know, aka Colonel Sanders, aka nothing but tomfoolery, nothing but the epitome of playing in your face, because it came out, you guys, that he got arrested for a DUI, apparently on the 27th of June, and it says the reasons were driving under the influence for alcohol, violation of traffic control device, and willful obstruction of a law enforcement officer, you guys. All misdemeanors. And, and my thing is this. This is a personal injury attorney, you guys. So nonetheless, you already know that a lot of your cases can be situations like this. So you know exactly the people you represent, what has happened, and how to, you know whatever you terms you discuss in court to try to you know help out your clients and then you turn around and get a dui can you make it make sense i don't understand these people i don't understand in 2024 why it is so hard for people to call a lyft to call an uber to call a taxi you guys like, like what is happening are you too cheap to do so Make it make sense as to why we keep having the same situations. Why is everybody still driving under the influence in 2024? And, and even the picture alone looks a hot mess. Um, yeah, this was from the uh, Georgia Gazette, but it's just, it, I just don't know about how many L's uh, Tamar keeps taking with this dude. He is just bad news. He's bad news. And then remember all the rumors, you know, of him messing with other women. Remember when Tommy exposed uh, that he took her out and, and all the things like like it has just been one bad thing after another with this dude. Is all of this worth it, Tamar, just to say that you have a man, just to say that you have a fiance who has done no, it's it's even worse now. That you guys, since you guys have gotten back together this time, right? Since you guys got re-engaged, it is worse this time around because everybody is exposing this man left and right, and he apparently is not doing well himself if he cannot call an Uber or Lyft to get himself home safely, and thinks that he, you know, is you know sober enough to drive, which already is a recipe for disaster. So nonetheless, uh, you know, I, I just don't get it. This is irresponsible behavior. You understand the consequences of drunk driving, how often people lose loved ones of drunk driving, you guys. How you could have put yourself in danger and not just yourself, but other people as well. And, and, and it's like, it's the audacity. But you especially know better at your big age because you are actually a personal injury attorney. So nonetheless, this this doesn't isn't it. But I am just I am over it, you guys. I am over it because uh, this is the one who again tries to scam you all, tries to make it seem like he is is Mister Good Good. No 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 no. No, 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 no. Th this isn't it. This is not it at all, you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about uh, was Mr. Colonel Sanders doing the things that Mr. Colonel Sanders does, uh, which is being a hot mess, you guys. And, and this is just dumb. This is just absolutely dumb. So we'll see what happens because uh, I presume there'll be a hearing at some point uh, to discuss the charges and discuss next steps uh it should be an automatic suspension of the license uh normally that's what's supposed to happen at least until the next court date until a final decision is made by the judge so nonetheless you should not still be out on the road driving at this point in time at this point in time either tamar has to be your chauffeur or you call an uber lyft or taxi 
But this just isn't it, you guys. All of these people getting DUIs for what? For what? When you have the means to pay for a Lyft, you have the means to pay for an Uber, you have the means to pay for transportation, to call somebody and say, listen, I don't think I'm in the best condition. Can you come pick me up and take me home? Something. Unless you were out doing something you weren't supposed to be doing. Unless you were out and you were not with your fiance, Tamar, right? Then why not get behind the wheel like an idiot and just come back whenever? Because that's what it's giving, right? That you wanted to go out and do you. You thought that, you know, your dirt was going to stay wherever. And then you were just going to come on back home like nothing happened. Except for you were drunk. Except for you were not sober. Except for you were in no condition to be behind any form of a wheel. But nonetheless, you still got behind one anyways. Thinking... That you had, uh, you know, enough strength, enough sober abilities and capabilities and faculties that you were going to make it home. That you were going to get there safely somehow. And uh, they said, no, 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 you're not going anywhere but jail. You are not going anywhere but getting these charges, personal injury attorney. How embarrassing, Tamar. Is this the love and war you you want that you sing about? Because this isn't it, girl. This is not it at all. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.